so before start the actual project explanation i request you please subscribe my channel so you can see on the screen up till now i have uploaded more than 66 video on raspberry pi the raspberry pi with iot that is all this video then also iot with arduino all this video are 26 and recently we started the new series on the pick my controller before that i also cover the project on the python web application so if you want to learn python iot raspberry pi arduino pick from the scratch and from uh, freely then please subscribe my channel please support me and the most important part is whatever the code i have explained whatever the project i have created on this youtube channel all these projects are freely available you no need to pay anything for this project so just if only point is you should watch complete video and you should follow my process so if you want to learn something from the scratch and freely then support me and please subscribe my channel and please click on like button hello friend in today's session we will learn how we can design and develop a weather monitoring system project by using arduino and esp8266 wi-fi chip so you can see on the screen we have the arduino we have the rain sensor then esp8266 wi-fi enabled chip then we have dst11 sensor and we have lm35 sensor so before start the next part i would like to tell you what will be the flow of this project so this arduino will capture the real time data that is whether there is a rain happening or not what is the value of humidity what is the value of temperature and all this value will be sent through uh, all this value will be sent on Th thingspeak server through this esp8266 wi-fi chip so we we have provided the internet connectivity to our arduino through this wi-fi chip all the data whatever the data from the weather like rain sensor humidity temperature will be sent through the arduino on the esp8266 server so this is the complete idea behind this project so before start the next part i would like to tell you practical demonstration of this project so that you will get idea about what you will learn at the end of this video in this video also we will learn how to connect all this hardware like rain sensor esp266 dstlm sensor lm35 with the arduino also we will see the importance of each and every line from the code so i request you please watch this complete video so that you will get idea about each and everything about this project now we will see the practical demonstration of this project so you can see currently arduino so you can see current arduino is working all the sensor having the light it is detected that means power supply is connected all okay now the next part is you can see on the screen i have opened the things pick server website and i have created my channel here i also tell you uh, how to create this channel in your laptop in this video so please watch complete video so you can see this is the weather monitoring system channel and you can see on this channel you will see the weather monitoring system the temperature value whatever the current temperature value then whatever the rain sensor then you will see also see the whatever the humidity value so this three sensor data we will upload here so you can see currently the rain sensor value is zero that means there is no rain so also you can see so you can see currently the rain sensor have uh, don't detect the water that means there is a zero value that means rain is not detected so i will put some uh, water droplet on this rain sensor so that on the website you can see this zero will be turned to the one so i will put some water on the rain sensor So you can see once I put the water droplet on the rain sensor, the rain sensor second light will be turned on that means rain is detected. Now wait for some seconds so that uh, it will update the status on the web page. So wait for some second. So it will take at least uh, 30 to 45 seconds to update the data. You can see once the updated data you can see on the screen the data is updated to 1. Current values you can see uh, date. You can also see the date. The date at what time it is updated. 12. 0.8 that is the current time uh, and also you can see the yesterday date is also present here you can see saturday and today date is this one you can say sunday and date and time you can also see the data that is the rain is detected on this data now what i will do i will remove the water droplet from this rain sensor so once i remove the water droplet you can also see once i remove the water droplet this one led will be turned off so i will remove the water droplet Yeah. Now you can see once I remove the water droplet from the rain sensor, the LED is turn, turn off. That means rain is not detected. So I can wait for some 30 to 45 seconds so that data will be uploaded on the server. You can see current data on the server is 1. It is showing 1. 
and here also it is one the graph is also showing one and value is also one so wait for some seconds so that it will update the data here yeah so you can see what uh, the data is up updated to zero and here also data is updated to zero you can see current data is zero range sensor so this is the one idea behind this range sensor now we will see the how to change the temperature value in the things peak now we will see the how to increase the temperature value so you can see currently on the things peak server the temperature is 30.3 degrees celsius this is the room temperature so if i want to increase the temperature i will put some hot object in front of this lm35 so you can see i have put some hot object in front of this lm35 temperature sensor so wait for some second one to two minutes so that it will capture the maximum hot range so wait for some second so you can see uh, gradually temperature increase to 35 so again wait for some seconds so it will increase to the maximum level 61 you can see now i will remove the hot object uh, from this lm35 so that it should reduce the temperature so side by side you can see on the graph also it is giving the live data what is the value current value 63.5 then before that there is 35 then before that is 30 then what is the yesterday value also saturday then what is the sunday value so this is live data you can capture and record at your end also so later uh, from this data you can easily verify uh, what is the weather condition at that time so you can see 49 so it is start decreasing because i have removed the hot object from this lm35 so i hope you get idea uh, uh, about this lm35 temperature same you can see uh, there is a humidity graph also uh, from the humidity graph you can see the live humidity data so whatever the current humidity data present on the uh, inside the room whatever the current value inside room for this humidity that is display here so once the humidity increase or decrease that value gets updated here so i hope you understand the complete idea of this practical demonstration of this project uh, now we will see the hardware connection of this project then we will see the program part of this project uh, then we will see how to run this project at your end uh, so please watch this complete video so that you will get idea about each and everything about this project uh, So one part is like that uh, we have seen a uh, separate 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 values For example, we first saw the temp uh, range sensor then we saw the temperature sensor Not uh, now we can do combinedly we can update the value So again I will put some water droplet here and then I will increase the temperature So you can see I put the water droplet current value is 0 on this range sensor so wait for some second and also I will side by side increase the temperature also so you can use two different sensor at the same time also there there is no problem so wait for some second so it will update the data so you can see range sensor value updated but wait for some second for temperature should be updated because it will take some time to read the data and send the data on the thing so you can see temperature also updated uh, to the 47 then it gradually update to 61 and then again if I remove then it will uh, reduce the temperature so this is the complete idea behind this project now we will see the uh, hardware connection and then we will see the program part now we will see the hardware connection so you can see first ha I have this hardware so this hardware is nothing but uh, just one buck strip I have connected on the zero PCB which having the common pin like shorted you can see this buck strip is completely shorted and this side buck strip is completely shorted so this two buck strip complete shorted which is used for the common VCC and common ground so you can also uh, uh, use this structure on zero PCB if you don't have uh, on uh, breadboard if you don't have the zero PCB at your end so on breadboard you can take the common VCC and common ground because we have many sensor at our end and we require uh, common VCC many point and common ground many point so Arduino uh, we have the pin number and we have the ground VCC uh, easily available there so first what we will take we will take the common ground that is the Arduino ground to our common ground here so this is the common ground and next part is we will connect the Arduino VCC so this is the Arduino 5 volt 5 volt from the Arduino that we will connect here to the common 5 volt so like this this is the basic first step we completed now we will see next part now the next part is we have to connect this ESP8266 Wi-Fi chip with the Arduino so you can see uh, at the back end of ESP8266 there is a uh, uh, num number also present or name also present which pin act as a which one 
so there is 3.3 rx tx enable tx and ground so you can see this number is belong to that one so you can see this column this column the left side left side column is nothing but the this side pin and right side column nothing but the that side pin so we have you can see two column this column and this column so when you scroll back at the backward you can see this column first one nothing but the this pin this side pin and second column from the back side you can see second column is nothing but the this pin so on the screen you can see uh, i have given the hardware connection of this esp8266 with the arduino by using that hardware connection you can uh, connect that esp8266 chip with the arduino so first part what we will cover first we will see 3.3 voltage pin enable enable pin should be shorted with with each other you can see 3.3 voltage pin and enable pin is shorted and from that common vcc we have to take so this common vcc from the 3.3 voltage from esp to 60 should be connected to arduino 3.3 voltage so arduino 3.3 voltage is here so this first part we have done what we connected enable pin and 3.3 voltage pin of the esp to 60 we shorted and that short pin commonly connected to 3.3 voltage of the arduino okay then after that ground pin from the esp266 so i have already given my name here so that i can easily find that name so this is the ground pin of esp8266 should be connected to common ground structure of our here so common ground i have connected that one so now tx pin of the esp8266 this is the tx pin from the esp8266 should be connected to two number pin of arduino so 0 1 2 and rx pin from the xp8266 should be connected to three number pin of arduino so connected to the three number pin so this is the very basic circuit so this is the very basic circuit and if you want to uh, go with the details again with the sp8266 with the arduino there is already one video i have uploaded the thumbnail you can see on the screen please watch that video so that you will get complete idea about sp8266 chip with the arduino because we have to change the baud rate to 9600 how to change that bond rate how to change that baud rate that also i have explained in that video so please watch that video now the next part is we have to connect this lm35 temporary sensor this is again very small basic uh, circuit you can see common pin i have connected here one pin to one so that i can take the buck strip and i can connect that pin so this is very simple circuit you can directly uh, if you have the breadboard you can directly uh, plug your lm35 and take that pin one by one outside so lm35 temporary sensor having three pin uh, you can see on the screen vcc ground and output so what you have to do you have to connect vcc pin to vcc common pin then ground pin from the lm35 to ground common ground and output pin from the lm35 should be connected to analog a0 so with this i will complete this circuit quickly so this is my vcc pin from the lm35 that is connected to common vcc then ground pin from the lm35 should be connected to common ground and then this is the output pin you can see middle one pin should be connected to analog a0 so very basic and simple circuit uh, three pin you have to just connect now the next part you have to connect this range sensor so when you purchase this range sensor from amazon or flipkart you will get with this circuit also range sensor circuit so initially this will be disconnected like this uh, you can see like this it is disconnected you will find like this circuit is separate and uh, this circuit is separate so you have to just plug in that wire there is no polarity you can just plug in that wire here at the two side like this is the input side so once you plug in so once you plug in that wire you can see uh, this circuit you will get easily available so at the end of this circuit this is the driver for this range sensor you can see on the driver there again the three pin uh, four pin so four pin nothing but the one vcc one ground one analog and one digital so we will use vcc ground and digital output pin so what you have to do you can see this is the pin four pin and each pin having the number also uh, here uh, below of this pin you will find the number analog digital output digital uh, digital output then vcc and then ground this is nothing but the uh, here you can see 5 volt you have to give so first we will connect vcc pin so vcc from this range sensor we will connect to common vcc pin here 
then ground pin from this range sensor this is the ground pin from this range sensor it should be connected to common ground very simple circuit and then again digital output from the analog uh, from the range sensor should be connected to four number pin of arduino so this is the four number pin of arduino so this is very simple and easy circuit you can see it is connected now we have connected the range sensor we have connected the ASP and temperature now only remaining is DST11 sensor now again for the DST11 sensor there are you can purchase this DST11 sensor from Amazon or Flipkart there are again three pins one is uh, data ground and VCC same connection VCC should be connected to common VCC that is 5 volt then ground should be connected to common ground so this is the ground pin should be connected to common ground and then this is the data pin should be connected to 5 number pin of Arduino this is the 5 number pin of Arduino so you can see in this way we complete complete our all the hardware connection with Arduino I hope you understand the hardware connection now we will see the program part and then we will see how to run this project now I will tell you what I mean about the sensitivity of this range sensor so I will provide the power so let's say initially if this light is getting on at your end let's say for example i will uh, like this if this light is getting turned on and if there is no water so you have to add this like this this screwdriver you can take this pot you can take and just rotate that pot to the anti-clockwise the light will turn off so light will turn off that means your sensitivity gets adjusted and then you can just put some water droplet on this rain sensor So like this I have put some water droplet and after water droplet you can see second LED will turn on uh, so that is means like when there is no water droplet this LED will should turn off let's say I have removed some water droplet again from here so after remove you can see the second LED turn off so in this way you can adjust the sensitivity of this range sensor okay now first we will see uh, now we will see the program part but before start the program part uh, first we have to create account on the thingspeak server so go to the thingspeak.com you, you can see this is the url and once you go inside this url thingspeak.com like this from google so google here you can type thingspeak so once you type thingspeak go to this thingspeak.com and after that you can create your account get started free and then uh, you can create your account uh, create new account and once you create just log in with that account just like this is my mail id and then i will type my password so once i log in you can see different channel i have created so for your side there is no channel so just click on this new channel button okay then after that you can click on this new channel so once you click on this new channel you can give channel name let's say weather monitoring system arduino and esp8266 this is my channel name uh, then you can give description if you want then you can ignore also then we have three sensors so field one field two and field three so this three sensor on field one we give one temperature you can give any name here doesn't matter but temperature sensor value will be displayed on field one then on field two it will display the range sensor value so range sensor I will say and then field 3 should have the moisture moisture sensor so these are the three field we have created field 1, field 2, field 3 this one the tick this is channel name then after that uh, click on this save channel so once you save channel you can see this channel will be open and you can see field 1, field 2 and field 3 now here if you want to give some widget then go to the add widget and then numeric display click on next and then here field 1 then here you can give temperature then here you can give degree celsius the unit and then create so this uh, this wind will be create at temperature then again uh, here you can again add the wizard for field 2 field 2 then field 2 is equal to range sensor and then create and likewise widget 3 for the moisture field 3 the moisture click on create so likewise you can create whatever your rain sensor data moisture sensor data will be present in front of this temp uh, 
like this you can arrange and then you can uh, you can see your data on this field also uh, then after that what you can do once you have this channel just go to the this api key and then api key this a uh, right api key we require in the program so how to use i will tell you okay so once you created channel just go to uh, my website i will provide my website link uh, in the description from that website you can able to download this uh, weather monitoring system esp266 thing folder so in that folder you will find the code also so website link is nothing but mytrain.com so in in mytrain.com you can type on the google also and in the mytrain.com like this uh, this is my website so this is my website name once you type website name you will find mytrain.com at the starting so go to that mytrain.com and uh, uh, from that mytrain.com you can easily download whatever the folder code you want you can easily download from here you can see all the project are available here also i will directly provide the project link in the description so from the description you can directly open that and you can directly uh, uh, download the project code from that link okay so this project code i will provide in the mytrain.com and then from this you will download link so once you download link you have this change baud rate baud rate wi-fi uh, connect with wi-fi change baud rate and this weather monitoring system dot ino file so what is use of change baud rate and connect baud rate with wi-fi uh, this uh, you will get idea from this video esp8266 how to connect with arduino so if your esp8266 not connected with your wi-fi then you should watch that video uh, you should watch this video and from that video you will get idea how to change your baud rate and your baud rate should be 9600 for the ESP8266. So how to change the baud rate, how to connect with your Wi-Fi, that basic setting I have told already in that video. So please watch that video. This video link also you will find in the my mytrain.com all in the description also. Okay, then after that you require Arduino Uno you know, software. So this software you require Arduino Uno you know, software. So how to install this software? I already explained in my previous video. This video accident detection video. So in that video uh, I have explained how to install this software in your laptop. So if you don't have the software, please watch that video also and try, try to download that software. Then after that, double click on this software. I hope you have this software so that I will tell you next step. So double click on this software, then go to the file, then click on open button. Then go to the downloaded folder uh, from uh, my website. So here you can see weather monitoring system and here you can see this is the code weather monitoring ESP266 thing spec ionophile file then click on open then once you click on open you can see code will be open here and this code we will use in our project now we, I will tell you importance of each and every line from the code now the first line is hashing to software serial dot h so basically we will use hard software serial that is two number and three number pin of Arduino for that one we required to install this library so that why we have added this library here then after that has to include dht dot h so basically we are using a dht 11 sensor so for that we require this library dht dot h so if you don't have this library just go to the tool then go to the sorry go to the uh, sketch and uh, then include library and click on this manage library so once you click on this manage library the uh, manage library will be open and then uh, there you, you you have to type dht 11 sensor library and then after that you can click on install button i will just show you how to do that process so for that there should be internet connectivity available so you can see once you uh, click on this manage library then here you can type dht11 library so just wait for some second it will load the library so once you type dht11 you have to install this library i will show you what library you have to install so you have to install this dht11 sensor library i have already installed that's why your install button is not showing uh, like this install so click on that install button and then your library will be installed select any version and then library will be installed so you need to install that dhtnl sensor library in your laptop then after that software serial we are using 2 3 2 is acted as a rx and 3 is acted as ts so whatever the rx txp we have to define here then after that some variables here then after that some sensor a0 so basically we have connected temporary sensor to analog 0 that's why here uh, define the temporary sensor pin the range sensor connected to 4 number pin of Arduino and then uh, DHT range sensor is connected to 5 number pin of Arduino so whatever the Arduino pin we use for the sensor that is defined here then 
our uh, DST element started that define here and then some variable we will use this variable later and this is the my API key so whatever the uh, key we have created like you can see with the monitoring app sharing uh, click on app sharing and write key so i told you we require this write key so this write key you have to type here like this uh, each and every symbol will be correct it should be identical you can copy this and then type copy and paste copy and paste here like this so it should be paste in between that two column uh, to uh, this one double quote uh, so this is very important because then and then only it will upload your data then after that my setup so my setup is nothing but uh, whatever the baud rate we are using for the serial communication you have to define here then pin number pin which work as input range sensor work as input we define here then we started the dst11 sensor here then some variable then connecting to wi-fi so when we connect the laptop or connect the arduino and uh, when we start the this program then it, it start connecting to your wi-fi whatever wi-fi you are using so that massive will be display here on serial terminal I will show you later then after that uh, here this is very important sp.println so here what you have to do this is my you can see till from this quote till backslash so till here so this is nothing but my Wi-Fi name so whatever the Wi-Fi name you have to provide you can provide here like this in between this backslash in between this double quote and backslash so backslash should not be deleted please focus that backslash should not be deleted and whatever the wi-fi name you can type here and then here you can see this is the password of my wi-fi so you can provide your password here again from the back double quote till backslash in between that one there should be your password so this is very important to connect your ESP8266 with your wi-fi okay then after that whatever password and id you are provide that should be correct here then some delay then it should give Wi-Fi connected if there is no error in the connection and if there is a ESP266 is working perfectly with 9300 baud rate it will show Wi-Fi connected other it will show uh, Wi-Fi not connected so very important again I will tell you you should watch that video to change your baud rate as 9600 then after that it will check the connection it start reconnecting if there is any issue then uh, some variable here wait, waiting variable because uh, when you upload a data on ESP it will take some time so that time will be defined here then here you can see analog read so whatever the temperature value we are reading from the analog sensor pin sensor pin is nothing but here you can see A0 so sensor is nothing but here A0 reading the value analog value from the A0 that value is converted into temperature sensor te degree Celsius from this two line so whatever the value coming from the sensor is converted into degree Celsius here and uh, that store into tem dot C variable again same read uh, digital uh, from the range sensor so when you have water droplet when you don't have water droplet so that status will be stored into this read uh, range sensor status variable and this is the function uh, which gives the idea what is the value on this range whether it is 1 or whether it is 0 then after that read dst11 sensor uh, so this is the function which uh, read the value from the dst11 sensor pin then after that write things pick so this is the main idea so write things pick will be call here you can see call here and then after that here you can see things pick command started so my api key whatever the api key that is the get value get value and think about whatever the value we are uploading on that key so that store here then field one field one nothing but the temperature field two nothing but the rain sensor field three nothing but the humidity value so that's why that's why uh, here when we created our channel channel setting you can see field 1 we have given temperature then rain sensor and then moisture sensor or humidity sensor so you can change to humidity also here name humidity so like this so field 1 should be matched with temperature field 2 should be matched with rain sensor field 3 should be matched with humidity here rain sensor you can see when I give the water droplet on the rain sensor then it will give 0 and when I remove the water droplet from the rain sensor it will give 1 so this is a reverse condition what we have to do when we put the water droplet it should give the 1 value so that's logic I define here so this is nothing but you can see uh, rain sensor is equal to equal to 0 yes that means water droplet then provide 1 value to this get string if the rain sensor not equal to 0 then provide 0 value so that's logic I have defined here just to 
toggle the logic when there is zero i have to give one when there is one i have to give zero because rain sensor gives the inverse value when there is water droplet it will give zero when there is water drop uh, when it is not water droplet then it will give one but we have to uh, we have to uh, take that value as a reverse we should we should have when there is a water droplet then it should give one when there is no water droplet then it should give zero so that's logic here i have given and let's say if you want to add another sensor field 4 then just copy this two line add here give your field 4 name here like this field 4 and then here whatever the sensor value you have to put you can put here so likewise you can add as many as sensor so likewise you can add as many as sensor and as soon as uh, here you can also need to enable this field like all this field so whenever if you want to add many sensor you can do that trick and once all the sensor having the value temperature rain and humidity it start get speak command so it will send here get speak command and this is the command sent to the ASP8266 chip and then our whatever the sensor value it start uploading on the server so main command is this one main command very important line is your API key then your field value here your field value is here whatever the field value uh, compare with your sensor coordinate with your sensor this is very important and other thing is nothing but writing the data on the things big server so this is the just inbuilt library function which write the data on the things big server i hope you understand the code uh, importance of code whatever the importance like at least that you understand and now we will see how to run your project now we will see how to run this project then uh, the first part is uh, you have to go to tools and board and here avr board you should select the arduino you know then after that you can connect this usb arduino usb to your laptop so once you connect arduino usb to your laptop just go to the tool after that go to the com port and here you should select the com port whatever the com port that you are arduino having the, i have com port 5 so select that one then after that click on this upload button so once you click on this upload button the code start uploading in your arduino so wait for some second so once the code uploaded just go to this serial terminal so once you go to serial terminal uh, you can see uh, here should be what rate should be 9600 then wi-fi connected because my wi-fi is working perfectly so if you don't get wi-fi connected or read connected continuously then sh you should watch my this video and try to enable your wi-fi then after that your uh, values start reading and start uploading on the things pick server so in this way you can run your project so once the value uploaded you can see field 1 value field 2 value field 3 value and once you get this message body receive that means your values are uploaded on the server so in this way you can run your project uh, by following uh, my video i hope you understand the complete project hardware connection programming part and how to run this project if you like my content please click on like button Please subscribe to my channel. Please support me. Thanks for watching this video.